So with that, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Why don't we start off writing down we're facing dogs? It's a, a, it's a day of vinyasa anyway. And as you walk your dog out right to left, feel that articulation that happens through your feet. The heel, the ball, the toe. And come up high under your tippy toes. Now you go bend your knees and bring your chest towards your thigh bones. Just like that, Kate, that's awesome. Now take your tailbone over towards the right heel. There you go. And then come back to center and take your tailbone towards your left heel. And the idea is you can soften your knees as much as possible. There you go, Jamie. And then come back to center. And we're just gonna do that a few times. Feeling that connection to the side bodies, the back body, core. And while you're making those movement happen, keep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose as well. Whatever that looks like for you. Make sure that you're trying to use that pranayama practice where your tongue is at the roof of the mouth. Mm, on your tippy toes, come up high, high, high. Now try to walk yourself as far forward as possible at the same time. And you wanna work down on those tippy toes. Now stop right there. There you go, just push away, get your chest, your thighs closer together. That's great, Jamie, good Chrissy. Now walk your feet a little bit closer towards your hands and just see if you can stay on your tippy toes. Keep going, Kate, you got it, you got it. Work those tippy toes, get that tailbone towards the sky. Yep, press your hands fiercely into the mat. You got it, good. One more big breath. Tippy toes, tippy toes, tippy toes. Beautiful, Cindy. All right, descend the heels. Exhale, fold at the chest and thighs touch. On your inhale, sweep your arms up nice and high. And on your exhale, swan dive. We'll bring the hands back down to the mat. On your inhale, you can lengthen your spine. And on the exhale, bring your right leg back. Bring your left arm up towards the sky for a closed twist. Now, externally rotate the left thigh bone at the same time. Bring the left arm up over your head, have the palm face the floor, there you go. Now let your right hip be really sloppy. There you go, yeah, mm -hmm. even more, even more. That's it, good. And then come back to center, bring your left hand down. That was nice, Jamie. Bring the right arm up for the open twist. So you wanna be on the ball of the back foot. Now you're gonna feel that challenge. The heel's gonna wanna turn inward, but see if you can keep it centered. So the twist happens primarily for the front. The left hand's gonna come down to the mat. You're gonna straighten your front leg, parsevo. In through the nose and out. Now flex the toes of the left foot. So the only thing in contact with the mat is gonna be your heel. Come up high into the ball of your back foot. That was great. And just keep working on that internal rotation. Inhale, lengthening. Christy, come up higher on the heel of your back foot. There you go. Extend the left leg back. You're on a one-legged high plank. Dangle that left foot right over the right ankle, and then take a low plank. Inhale into up dog. And exhale into down dog. Let that left, or right, excuse me, that left leg come up towards the sky. Dangle it over towards the right side of the room. Flip the dog, open up the front body, and exaggerate the stretch. Now you can do scarecrow arms, or whatever you feel like is the most fruitful, but you gotta get those hips up high, high, high. Bring your left foot through to the top of the mat. Your right leg is gonna meet it. Forward fold, inhale, lengthening. Exhale, folding. Inhale, sweep your arms nice and high. Find that front body stretch so your hips are gonna come up and over. And then on your exhale, swan dive, bring it down. Inhale, lengthen. 
bring your left leg back. Same intention here. The right arm is going to come up. Now let the left leg be sloppy. Actually rotate that right thigh bone. So it kind of feels like you're going into a pigeon pose or a dragon pose. You want the belly to feel like a hammock. Bring that arm up and over. That palm can start to face the floor so it starts to feel more like a back bend. There you go, nice and deep. The right hand comes down to the mat. You're gonna go into your open twist, so the left arm is gonna come up. And you're looking to keep that left thigh parallel to the floor, opening up through the front lines. Bring the left hand down to the mat, straighten your front leg. You'll flex the toes, so the only thing in contact with the mat is the heel of your foot. Wear off your hips. That's it. Lengthen your spine. Everybody breathe. Lower the right toes towards the floor. Sweep the right leg up and back. Come into your one-legged high plank. Dangle the right ankle over the left ankle. Take your low plank. So feel your inner thighs working together here. Inhale into upward facing dog. Make that pelvic bowl a hammock. And downward facing dog. You can take your right leg up towards the sky, dangle it over towards the left side of the room, flip the dog, stretch it out. And again, you can use this pose to be curious with whatever your body feels like it really needs, whether it's a scarecrow arm or something new. Now the right foot's gonna come to the top of the mat. We're just going to land on our feet here. And the left foot will meet at forward fold. Inhale, lengthening. On your exhale, folding chest to thighs. Inhale, sweep those arms up nice and high. And again, as your palms touch, let the hips go towards the top of the mat, over the toes. And on your exhale, fold. Bring those hands back down. Inhale, lengthen, right leg back. Left leg back. Now, if you're in the mood, double chaturanga, low plank. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Take the right leg up nice and high. Come into a bond of charger, so pull that knee between the two elbows. Take a one-legged down dog. Find that stretch. Again, bond of charger, pull the knee in. One-legged down dog. Pull the knee in. Warrior one, place that right foot down on the mat. Sweep the arms up nice and high. Exhale into warrior two. Peaceful warrior. And take your side angle stretch. Let that right hand come to the inside. And the left arm's gonna come up and over, palm faces the floor. Straighten that front leg. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, Jamie, but this next pose is considered the Jamie pose. <laughs> Extend your right arm out in front of you so your palms face each other. Yeah, yeah, everybody's shaking their head. This is the Jamie pose. Jamie loves this pose. Bring your arms in closer towards each other. Even closer. Even There you go, Kate. Great. One more big breath. To the Jamie pose. All right, twist the triangle, bring the right hand down, then the left hand down. As that right arm comes all the way up and over, stretch out that front leg even further by drawing that hip back. Now notice if you're trying to engage your glutes, see if you can soften it. So Chrissy, your left foot needs to go to the left side of the room. 
There you go. Mm -hmm. Take your right hand, place it underneath the ball of your right foot. Mm -hmm. Come into standing splits as you inhale the left leg up. And take a big breath in and a big breath out. You can always pull the left heel in if you'd like and see if you can get your left knee towards the left armpit. It doesn't rest on the armpit. It doesn't, there you go, just like that, Kate. You got it, now come up onto the spider fingers of your left hand. That's it, yep, now straighten your right leg. Mm -hmm. Just straighten your right leg. There you go, there you go. Now everybody take a big breath in. Now you might wanna consider coming up onto the ball of the foot or you're gonna stay right here, the choice is yours. But the idea is we wanna keep that right leg straight Keep that knee externally rotated for three, two. Looks great, Kate. One, ah, release. Bring the left foot and the right foot together. Sweep your arms up, take chair pose. Now bring your hands to prayer at the center of the chest. You're gonna take a twist towards the left knee, right elbow, left knee. See if you can hug those armpits together and bring your hands closer to the center of the chest. There you go, Cindy. Now pull your right heel in so you're an ostrich. You're just gonna balance on that foot. There you go, Jamie. Connect with your inner thighs. When you can feel your knees separating, that means your hips have come out of sequence. Extend your right leg back. There you go. You can place it right down on the ground for your crescent, for your lunge position. So you're just going to place it down on the ground and keep that lunge. Mm -hmm. Come right into warrior two. It's a nice little transition. There you go. Peaceful warrior. Helicopter your hands down to the mat. Slide that left leg up and back. High plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Pop your right foot through to the top of the mat. There you go. Have the left foot be the right. Inhale, lengthening. And exhale, folding. Inhale, sweep your arms up nice and high. Allow the palms to touch. And exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen. Walk or jump it back. Chaturanga. Inhale into your upward facing dog. And then your downward facing dog. You're going to take your left leg up towards the sky. Mm, bond to charger. Pull that knee in. See if you can get the hairline and the knee to touch. You guys look great. One legged down dog. Find that nice front body stretch. Again, on your exhale, pull those two points in. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, pull it in. Warrior one. As you land on your feet, you can sweep those arms up. Now, sometimes there's a tendency to back out of the pose. So see if you can go a little bit deeper into those thigh bones and we'll make it into warrior two. And the peaceful warrior. Side angle stretch. Allow your right arm to come up and over so the palms are gonna, there you go, because you know what's coming, right? Ah, straighten that front leg. Extend your left arm out in front of you for the daily pose. We have a Jamie pose, an Amanda pose. We're going to need a Kate pose. Big breath in. So Kate, see if you can make your left side body longer. There you go. 
Twist your triangle, right hand down, left arm up. And take your time as you're squaring those things off. Mm -hmm. Take your left hand, place it underneath your left foot. Get that good yogi grip. You can inhale that right leg up nice and high. Find the standing split. So I have found my center with spider fingers and my hand pretty far out in front of me. Kind of like a kickstand. Now you pull your left heel in towards the left group. Actually rotate the right knee over towards the right side of the room. This is in honor of all of our puppies. Some of them may wee on themselves. Lift that leg up a little bit higher. There you go. Come up onto the ball of your left foot. Your belly button is in and up. You're doing great. One more back. The right foot meets the left foot. As you release your arms, you sweep them up towards the sky for chair. Your hands come to prayer at the center of the chest. Now add the twist, left elbow, right knee. Get that good hook. Finding ostrich, pull the left heel in, finding your center, and then experiment with keeping your knees together. See if that helps you find your center. We'll extend that left leg back. Eventually, we're going to lead into a lunge position. So just take your time in your transition. That was lovely, Kate. Four, two. I always find that this feels really good after that pose. Peaceful warrior, left hand down, right arm up. Helicopter your hands down to the mat. And slide that left leg up and back. Keep it up in your high. Your low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Hop your left foot, so here you go, handstanders. Hop that foot to the top of the mat. Now, Batia does monthly arm balancing workshops, so maybe it's time to jump in, literally. <laughs> All right, bring the right foot to meet the left foot. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, folding. Inhale, sweep your arms up nice and high. On your exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasan, take it back. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Take your right leg up towards the sky. Bring it through to the top. Come right into your warrior one. Now you're gonna add eagle arms. So the left arm is gonna go underneath the right arm. Press your forearms away from you and find the back bend. Now as your chest is reaching up, lower your hips closer towards the floor. So see you wanna bring your left foot over towards the left side of the room. There you go. All right, ladies, take your elbow to the outside of the left knee. There you go. Work on that armpit to knee connection like you were working on earlier in ostrich. The left hand's gonna come down, the right arm is gonna come up. So some of you may wanna take it to the outside, some may wanna take it to the inside. And then again, work on straightening that front leg.
Thread the right arm underneath the left, reach back for your back thigh bone. Walk your left hand all the way out in front of you. Mm -hmm. That's a great setup, Kate. Now, everybody take your left hand and place it on your right shoulder. So it's gonna go behind you. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go, it's gonna go behind you. So it's gonna go over your head and it's gonna, there you go, Kate, good. Now reach for your right thigh bone. There you go, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now press your head into your forearms. Mm -hmm. So it's like half of a happy cow arm. Now, if you want to take that left hand, or is it the right hand? The right hand, you could see if you can go underneath and do the other half of happy cow. So the right arm goes around. Yep. Yes, Kate. Yes, just like that. The other half of your happy cow. Yes, Cindy. Look at that. Those happy, those cows look so happy. One more breath. Oh, unwind it into a wide legged straddle. Grab the outside blade, zoom your feet. Inhale, lengthening. And exhale, folding. Now, this is an opportunity to invert. If you want to take a headstand, a handstand, a pinch of Mayarasana, five breaths. So when I'm not in the mood to fly, I am always recommend taking a bigger straddle. So you can always toe heel your feet closer toward the edges of your mat. There you go. So you'll start working on widening your sit bones. Lovely, Cindy. As we slowly back out of the pose, if you took a really wide straddle, you may want to toe heel your feet in slightly. Then on the next breath, we're just going to pivot over towards the right foot. Slide the right leg back so you're in a one-legged high plank. Take your low plank. You can get that right leg higher. There you go. Inhale, up dog. Right leg higher. Right leg higher. There you go. One legged down dog. Oh, bring your right foot through to the top of the mat. Have your left leg meet it. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, fold. Bring the weight into your toes a little bit more. On your inhale, sweep your arms up nice and high. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana, low plank. Upward, facing dog. Downward, facing dog. Inhale, the left leg up. And bring it through to the top of the mat, warrior one. Eagle arms, so it's the right arm underneath. You wanna think about separating your scapulas. It's gonna make it a lot easier when you do happy cow arms. And then uh, follow your drishti as your hands go up over your head. And to send your hips a little bit closer towards the floor at the same time. We're gonna layer on with a twist. So the right elbow is gonna to go to the outside of that left knee. Are you breathing? One more breath. All right, unwind it, right hand down, left arm up. Feel free to straighten that front leg. Yeah, there you go. Make it big. Now the left hand's gonna go underneath the right. You're gonna reach back for that thigh bone. 
sort of sink into it. So consider extending your right arm as far away from you as possible, either towards the top of the mat or away from the top of the mat. So you can really start to get into that side body a little bit more, knowing what's coming. Keeping the tongue at the roof of the mouth. So now your right hand's gonna go to the left shoulder. There you go. Now you're gonna slide that torso all the way in nice, Kate, just like that, and then grab that thigh bone. Your half of a happy Gomugasana. So the whole idea is to get that right hand as close. There you go, Jamie, you got it. Look at that, everybody's going for the full Gomugasana already, huh? And when you're ready, you can add that other arm since many of you are already trying. There you go, there you go, awesome. Don't say it can't be done, huh? In through the nose and out. Unwind it, wide-legged straddle. Grab the outside blades of your feet. And again, if you're in the mood to invert, take five breaths to do that. Or work on making your straddle a little bit longer. The back body stretches are so important. That looks great, Lisa. Good, good, good. Making that transition. If you made a wide-legged straddle, again, toe heel those feet in towards each other. And on your next breath, inhale, lengthening. Uh, pivot towards your left foot. Have the right foot meet the left forward fold. Inhale, lengthening. And on your exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up nice and high. On your exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen. Walk, jump, or fly. We're going to meet an upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take your right leg up. Warrior one. Warrior two. Peaceful. Side angle. Skandasana. As you go all the way to the ball of your back foot. Bring your forearms down to the floor. And consider that external rotation of that right thigh bone. Straighten your arms. Walk your fingertips towards the middle of the mat so you're gonna flank right over that right thigh bone. Focus, now think about that left thigh bone turning out slightly. Mm -hmm. On your next breath, take yourself into Anjane Asana. So you'll come all the way forward, lower the left knee down to the ground. Take your arms up. And bring your hands to prayer at the center of the chest. 
the left the left elbow will be in contact with the right knee now here's your opportunity to work a reverse spine if you'd like to do that or just marinate here come up onto the ball of the back foot lift the knee up Pop your back foot in just a little bit, just a little bit, and you're gonna try a bound half moon. You got it, Kate, you got it. Mm-hmm, nice, Cindy, yep, just like that. Yep, feel those inner thighs working. She's a superstar, I tell you, superstar. Beautiful. Slowly unwind it. You can bring the left foot to meet the right. Sweep your arms up. Get that nice front body stretch as your arms come up high. Woo. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. What's your flavor? Walk, jump, or fly? It's always a good night to do a double because it's yin right after that. And inhale into your up dog when you're ready and that's where we'll meet. So you can do your double push-ups, you can do your handstands. Downward facing dog. One more side, you're gonna inhale that left leg up. Bring it through to the top, warrior one. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Side angle. Side. Lean over into that skandhasana. So you'll go all the way to the right foot. Work on that ball of foot. Nice fire toes here. You can drop those forearms down to the ground so your hips have a chance to get acclimated. And we'll place both hands back on the mat. You're gonna to pivot towards the left foot. Working on that hamstring, cause you know it's coming. Find your way into Anjane Asana. You'll lower the right knee down. Inhale your arms up. Add that twist. Right elbow, left knee. Taking your reverse bind or staying in your twist. And once you got the good setup, you'll come up onto the ball of your back foot and lift the knee up. Gonna make that transition into that bound half moon. You just wanna take your time as you toe heel your right foot in. This is your pivotal pose tonight. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Your right foot will meet your left. You'll unwind as you sweep your arms up towards the sky. Oh, that feels so good. I know I can sound just by the sound of the breath, right? Exhale, fold, bring your hands down. Inhale, lengthen. Here it is. You're gonna last chance to walk, jump, or fly before we go on to our backs. Mm 
downward facing dog. And we'll make our transition to the top of the mat. You'll inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Onto your backs you go. We're gonna do some back bends. So your choices are bridge or wheel. You can also, if you prefer to do camel poses or floor bows, those are an option too. But you've done a lot of twisting. And twisting is great for opening up the side bodies for big back bends. So when you're ready, you'll take yourself into bridge. And then if you wanna go into your wheel poses, that's an option too. And there is no rush. The end of a good day. Just want to get as many of those front body stretches in. So for the last two days, I've been working on a newsletter. And I can literally feel it in my right hand, my right shoulder, my right ear, my right elbow. And then the internet went out. So... <laughs> It was a forced rest. But even when I'm working at my desk and my body is starting to talk to me, I have to be honest and say I'm not always a good listener. Because I tell myself, I'm just going to get this one more thing done. One more, one more, one more. That's why we practice yoga. Because no matter how long we've been at it, some of us are just hardwired. I guess I should just speak for myself. If you have done your three, go ahead and take plow pose. If you want to add a shoulder stand, extending your legs towards the ceiling, you are welcome to do that as well. Waterfall is a nice alternative.
We'll back out of, out of plow or shoulder stand, wherever you're at. Just take your time. Add a supine twist to this. Right knee will come in. You'll extend your left leg out. Take the right knee over towards the left side of the room. Let's bring that right knee in. Give it a nice tight squeeze. Bring your forehead to you. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Ah, let's release. All right, like that. Left leg's gonna come up. Left knee will go to the right side of the room. Bring the left leg back to center. Hold it nice and tight. Bring your forehead in towards the knee. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now ah, let's release. I'm getting ready for finals. Awesome. Close your eyes and draw your attention.
All right, peeps, let's wiggle our fingers and our toes. Make circles with the ankles and the wrists. We'll roll to the right. Come up into a comfortable seat. Eyes lower, eyes closed. We can bring our hands to prayer at the center of the chest. I'm grateful for this day now over. May only the love remain. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. And from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you, peeps. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.